Hey guys, it's Maddie. Welcome to Fairly Please. I would first like to say I'm so sorry for being away for so goddamn long. We've had Anna's birthday, which was just bef uh, just after um, my last video, and then we had Christmas, of course, and um, just everything to do with Sevi's autism um, and stuff in between. Um, then and now and so life just sort of got in the way and as it does especially when you have kids so um, This video is sort of just going to be an update of everything that's happened since I saw you last or you saw me last and Hopefully it sort of fills in some gaps and I hope you're not mad that I left you for so long. So let's begin So recently Sebi's autism, with Sebi's autism or at least what we thought, uh, think slash thought was autism, has been dealt with. Well, not dealt with, obviously. So Sebi last Wednesday was diagnosed with um, autism, with high functioning autism, or at least we, we're all pretty sure that he'll be high functioning. Um, so at least he's finally diagnosed. Yes, it has taken some time, which is what autism, which is fair enough for autism because you don't want to diagnose a child that doesn't have autism. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be working on his language skills mostly because of how far behind he is. We're sort of trying to teach him sign language at the same time, which I'm pretty sure I've already said, um, which sort of comes and goes. So he's been saying thank you slash thank you. Um, what, no, and mum and dad, and a few other words here and there, so, you know, at least he's saying some words, uh, but that's, yeah, that's where we're at, we, um, started a pediatrician to get him diagnosed, and we've started early intervention, which is going to help us with everything else, sort of like, um, if we get him into childcare, they'll get on, uh, get other people on to the childcare to sort of help him with his autism in there. And there's just a lot that's happening. So Anna's now one. She's a big one year old. And she's started walking and she's trying to run. She's trying to take off. And she's really cute because she's still got her big chubby legs and they're so adorable. Um, she's also started sitting at the at Sebi's little table, so that's been pretty cute. She looks adorable there. Um, we're currently contemplating putting both the kids into childcare slash family daycare. I'm sort of having an internal fight with that. Um, and then Damo and I are also having a lot of discussions about what we should do. If we should actually put them in or what, because we want to get them socialize it sounds really weird but we want you know them to be around people sebi's pretty pretty stubborn <laughs> as it is so you know the more people around him or at least the more kids his age around him will hopefully push his speaking and you know get him somewhat caught up um but at the moment he's still so obsessed with cars and Paw Patrol. For Christmas every toy we got him was Paw Patrol, so $150 worth of um, things that were all Paw Patrol. Um, I think he's a little squinch. Um, he also had a double bed in his room for a while and my crazy two-year-old pushed that double bed around his room, lifted his mattress off his bed and started taking him apart my bed slash his bed. <laughs> what a two-year-old is strong enough to do that? Can you tell me? Because that's crazy. That's really weird. And it's not like it's like the lightest bed. It's not heavy to an extreme, but it's not light either. So we've had to buy a new bed for him that is really heavy to the point where Damo can't move it now. So moving it when we move out is going to be pretty fun for us. Okay. Things you do for your kids. Yeah, that's pretty much been our lives between now and then. We've got Damon's birthday coming up and then we've got Easter and then the day after Easter we've got Sebi's birthday. The three year old. We're just very relieved that Sebi's autism has been diagnosed and that we can just, just start the next chapter in his life and you know 
do what needs to be done for him. It's all up from here. We get the help from here and that's all we wanted. We want the help for our boy. So it's all exciting and nerve wracking and it gets a little, it makes you a little nervous. I mean, when she, when our uh, pediatrician said, yes, I think, well, yes, your son is autistic. Um, he's going to be high functioning. It was a weight lifted off my shoulders, but also another weight put on that's like, okay, this is real. You know, it's not just some part of your brain thinking that it could happen. No, this is actually real and this is a lot to deal with. And there's going to be a long road ahead and trying to get him up to where he needs to be. It's going to be a tough battle, but I mean, it's our boy. Of course, we're going to do it. Of course, we're going to do it. But it's tough. But as the parent, you do what you can for your kid. It's just confusing on where it goes from here. Because everything else, the stress and depression and anxiety has all been flaring. But I've got my beautiful little family helping me through. So it's pretty good. Can't say life is the worst. The next video, hopefully I'll be able to show the kids in. I'm recording this at like 11.30 at night because we've been crazy mode recently. So if you want to see anything, please comment down below of what you want to see or if you have any questions or if you want to give me some information that you think would be helpful, go for it, you know. Again, the more information, the better when it comes to my children, especially Sabi, about his autism. So give me, give me what you can, Ooh, quickly. Before I forget, I have started a new venture called Unique. It is makeup, and no, I know I'm not the best at makeup, but I am learning, hence why I'm training. Mm. But they have some awesome things in there. If you want to go check out my page that's called uh, Family Plays Schools Unique, I would put it in a link in the description down below so you can see what it is. I will start trying to post beginner videos of eyeshadow. I just watched a beginner, a beginner video of eyeshadow. And one eye turned out pretty well, the other eye is sort of like here, there and everywhere, so still learning, but we well, shall see, shall we? Shan't we? Won't we? <laughs> but yeah, I will put a link in uh, the description below for my page and from there you can have a look at the website of Unique and yeah, just give me a shout if you need anything or want anything or want any information, I can help you as much as I can. Because I have higher ups that can help me answer your questions. So uh, watch out for my next couple of videos and I will see you soon. Please don't forget to give this a thumbs up and a subscribe to my channel please if you haven't already and I will love you forever. And I will see you next video. Thanks guys. Bye.